guys, we need to work together to stop the shorts, all right? And there's a very simple way that each one of us can do to help with this, help with the cause. And that is this excellent proposal by a subscriber. Everyone that owns Neil stock should place a limit order to sell their stock at around $15 a share or $20 a share. And that way, uh, even though that's like three, four times the current stock price, that way it's going to be on order. And as a result, uh, your broker can't lend out those shares to be shorted. So you're reducing the amount of supply of the, uh, of the available shares to short. And that, in, a se in essence, would actually help out. Um, even though if you have no intention of selling the stock at $15 or $20 a share, you should still do this. And then, you know, you can cancel any time. So just limit order. That means it's only going to trigger once the stock is uh, at 15. So you're going to sell at 15 or above. That's the only way that you're going to be selling those shares. But having the order in means your share shares have to be on the broker and it can't be lent out to uh, these hedge funds that are shorting the stock. Also, uh, naked shorting potentially might also be happening. Right, there's no concrete evidence, but I'm highly, uh, I think it's highly probable that it is indeed happening. Naked short selling, I mean, like the stock price has just been pushed down very significantly, way beyond <laughs> what's supposed to be normal. All right, and this is all thanks to extreme shorting, extreme selling, possibly naked short selling. and. Guys, do this. Definitely place the limit order at 15 or above. You know, just lock in your shares basically. Lock in your shares, make sure it's not available for shorting. And that's gonna really help with this. And if we do get a short squeeze, remember these this these shorts, all right, whether it's naked shorting or or just normal shorting, these guys are guaranteed buyers, so they're gonna propel the stock price even higher and just looking at the general consensus uh you know on my discord uh, on my comments of my videos and also on different uh discussion and chat groups people are very pessimistic towards neil and it's understandable neil's not profitable yet yes but i think the pessimism the fear has gotten way too extreme and it just makes the valuation of the company unreasonable all right unreasonable i think that we are just way too extended we're like an elastic band being pulled down way too much than what's normal and it can snack snap back up very very quickly and that's my whole thesis why i think uh you know new stock could potentially explode right and Looking at the chart patterns, the chart patterns are still intact. I still believe that this month, April, we're going to break up out of this wedge pattern, all right, to the upside and explode, absolutely explode, all right. All right, guys, looking like zoomed in on the wedge, today we are holding about a 2% gain off of the trend line, bouncing up above it. So this is quite nice. We had just so many days of downtrend oh my god it's just unbelievable man like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 basically two weeks of non-stop but going down and it's just extremely oversold even on the daily rsi is curling back up positive and macd is curling back up going to cross for bullish buy signal uh, I believe on the four hour we have already crossed for bullish buy signal. There we go. We have a little green histogram that means uh, we it has officially crossed MACD right there. So this is quite nice, giving you a buy signal. So yeah, I believe this is gonna break out very very soon. Uh, within the next couple of days, this might be our last buying opportunity, guys. And then also what's very important is if you look at the overall Chinese stock market, the Chinese stock market has done an incredible job of rebounding. So here, 
Let's go to daily. Take a look. Uh huh. I had this blue line drawn before, and this is just a huge mega triangle pattern. You got to really zoom up out to the like monthly to have a good look at this. What it looks like. There you go. Yeah, there you have it. Uh, this line has held up multiple, multiple, multiple times, and it just. As expected, this one held up again, and we're bouncing off of that. So the Chinese stock market is bouncing back, very, very nice. And then, of course, the uh, if you connect the tops of the uh, uh, peaks, you can ex look at what you expect. You can expect uh, if it goes up here, that would be a very uh, nice area to take profits for the Chinese stock market. But that's like. Next year, probably. But overall, this is a very bullish uh, triangle pattern. So, you know, unless we break below it convincingly, it looks like we might be, uh, you know, eventually consolidating, going up, down, maybe, and then breaking above this. This is going to just be a huge bull run for China if we do indeed break above that. But that this is, of course, the longer time frame. And look, we're looking at it into 2030. All right. So this is just something to pay attention to. All right. Very interesting. Very interesting that China is doing this. And then going back to Neo, I mean, like Neo is just thrown in the gutter, man. Right now, 4.6 monthly. Look at the monthly, man. The monthly of Neo. We've just retraced basically all of this up move all the way up to 60 we've retraced basically almost all of it down to 4.6 wow incredible and we are just if you look at the uh the big wedge pattern that i have drawn boob there we have it perfectly good looking wedge pattern connects these tops over here and these tops over here Move this top over here and it just looks like we're about to explode man we're about to go ballistic over the next couple of weeks months i mean like bam this is what this pattern will induce this is what and, and a classic example of this where this has happened is uh actually like the cannabis stocks so here we have the uh we have cgc canopy growth and that has also a very bullish wedge head. Bam! Look at that. We went from 2.8 all the way up to 10.78 right now. This is where we're at right now for CGC cannabis canopy growth. This the, I've been eyeing this for a very long time. And damn, man, this is what we can expect when this when new stock breaks out of the wedge. And another one, ACB. I've I've made calls on this in the past, and it's really run quite substantially in the past as well. ACB. Look at ACB. Damn, from 2.89 all the way up to seven. We pretty much flipped like more than two times. All right, 2.2 and a half times in just a short span of less than a month. So this is crazy. This is 15th of of March. That's when we had 2.88. Now we're at uh, April 4th. We're at six, seven dollars for ACB. So this is what you can expect when Neo stock goes absolutely parabolic. So of course we have to get a very good bullish short squeeze, and I think that's very possible. Look, we're now at 4.64. We're rebounding. That's nice, and I think that short squeeze we can. All help out by just locking in our shares, placing a sell order at fifteen dollars a share, and then also uh, there's going to be new, more news coming out. Deliveries are going to be fantastic this month as well. Looking good, looking good. This looks like a bottom right there. Uh, this is just my opinion, but I believe this is the bottom right there. Boom! Look at how beautiful this chart looks.